top of the morning to you and welcome to the Dear Julie Julie DIY channel. I'm Julie. I'm the queen creator and CEO here at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY. Today I'm excited to bring to you 13 items for St. Patrick's Day. It fits right in because I love to make beautiful things for my home using things for Dollar Tree thrift stores and stuff I have hanging around. We're going to start with the first project and I'm using this little Christmas picture that I got at Dollar General after Christmas and some Scallion Waverly chalk paint. I'm just dry brushing it onto the back of the frame and I'm going to do it again for a second one. So those are ready. I'm going to be using these St. Patrick's Day stickers that I picked up at Dollar General and I'm going to be putting two of the smaller ones onto one of the little frames and I'm just sticking it on and then I'm going to go ahead and put one of the the large one on the other and just like that I have two little pictures to add to my wall and there they are. So next I'm going to be dressing up my hedgehogs. They sit on a shelf on the wall. They've been there since Thanksgiving and I've decorated them for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Valentine's Day and now we're going to decorate them for St. Patrick's Day. So she's getting a bow that was in my mom's um, St. Patrick's Day stuff and I have this little hat that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I've taken the letters out of the hat and now I'm going to take a knife and make a circle in the hat and then I'm going to take a spoon and scoop out the circle and make a little hole so that I'm able to fit it onto his head. I'm not sure how I know which one's the him and the her but I decided he was the one on the left and she's the one on the right. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down and put it on him and there you have it. And I think they're so cute. I love decorating things that I already have. I also added the little cauldron or lucky bucket as well as a lucky horseshoe there in the back and a little St. Patrick's Day mug. And on my other little shelf, I have the two bunnies. I got them for Valentine's Day in the garden section at Dollar General. I'm adding this little clip-on hat that I had. And then I'm going to use this adorable gingham ribbon that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make a shoestring bow. So just a bow, just like you would tie your shoes and add it to her. And um, so here I'm... I call it snake tongue. <laughs> Cutting a snake tongue on the uh, ribbon to make it look more finished. We're just going to glue that on and let's see. Oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? And I'm not sure who's drinking, but it looks like it's all gone. And here we are with our next project. I'm using one of these signs from Valentine's Day with the three galvanized hearts on it. And I'm just going to add stickers. I'm going to add two stickers that are similar to each other to the outside. One that's a little different to the inside and some coins. And that is our sign. But I thought it needed something so I've, I'm adding a shoestring bow with the gingham ribbon again. And of course we'll be cutting the ends to look like a snake's tongue. And here it is, fast and easy and a great addition to my wall. So we are going to use this leprechaun sign and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with these feet when I saw it. 
And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm taking a skewer, one of the thick ones, it might even be a chopstick, and I'm gluing it onto the feet at an angle, and then I am cutting four skewers. This is projects number five and six in this series. I'm gonna go ahead and I have picked up some of these little gold coins and I'm gonna, I start out by attaching the skewer and then one to the front of the skewer, one to the back of the skewer, but I'm stacking them so that I can do it all at one time. And then when I get to this one, I decide that it might be kind of cool to have three. And so two of the other ones, I go back and add a third coin. And so I'm making coin picks as project number six. And then I put them into my little envelope. I absolutely love this. He looks like he's diving in to get more gold. And for project seven, we are gonna be using this little green truck that I had picked up at Target. And we are going to be adding some of the Excelsior that I've been using. It's a green Excelsior that I had from my mom's stash. And I'm gluing down that shamrock. And the shamrock was from a set of lights that I had. I've added some stickers to the two front doors. And now I'm adding a sticker to the shamrock and I'm using the stickers to fill the back of the truck because it just doesn't seem right to have a holiday without a truck. <laughs> I'm really glad I found this little green truck and I love how it turned out. And now for project number eight, we are gonna bring back those letters from the little hat and we are gonna paint them with the Scallion chalk paint from Waverly. I picked that up at Walmart. I just got a little one um, to, cause I wanted to try it. Oh, you see Midnight is helping. You see her tail? <laughs> so I'm gonna be painting all four letters um, front and back, just in case this little project gets seen from the other side in the future. So there I'm going to set those aside and let them dry. Here comes that green Excelsior again, and I am going to be rolling it in a ball and filling the cauldrons or lucky buckets. What are they called? Anyway, I'm filling those with the Excelsior. And then I'm going to be putting the little stick picks of the letters inside. I'm checking this out to see if I like it with the gold coins, and I do. So I'm gonna put two gold coins and the stick pick in each one. Now my C had lost its stick, so I just fixed it with some hot glue. It's amazing what you can do with your hot glue. <laughs> I am using gor Gorilla Glue glue sticks, I find that they are working really, really good for me. So I am continuing to do that for all four, spelling out the word luck. But I actually am saving all of that Excelsior for another project. And so I looked at this and I thought it might be kind of fun to add a coin to the top to the letter so that you would actually see it a little better. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna add a coin to the back of each one in case you see it from that side. And then I'm gonna add a coin to the top of each letter. And this turned out even better than I expected. I absolutely love it. And I, it's one of my favorite things that I made. 
And for project number nine, we have another lucky bucket. This one was actually my mom's. And I'm just going to put the Excelsior, I'm not going to glue it down to the bottom. But then I am going to add these little coins throughout. And really, really simple. If you're still here, say lucky bucket in the comments. And I want you to know I'm really glad you're still here. We've got four more to go. And there it is. I love it. I love that I was able to use something that's been in my mom's home for years. I'll be putting it with my Halloween stuff so that it can come out then also. I love these signs that Dollar Tree comes out with every holiday. But first I have to put on these little protectors because I'm going to be using the hot glue and I'll be touching it with my fingers. Um, to make the one bigger, I sliced it a little bit so it would fit on my thumb. I'm using that Excelsior that I saved from the other projects. And I put the hot glue down and now I'm tapping it down. And I left the glitter. I love glitter. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> so I left it. Plus I'm a lazy crafter. I left it. So I'm tapping it down and then brushing it off. I'm going to come back and give it a haircut and so you'll see me doing that with my little tiny scissors and continuing to check and if I do see the glitter that I love so much I am going to try and cover it with the Excelsior but I was excited to have a project to use up those pieces um, that had you know fallen onto my table. Part of my crafting mode of operation is to use everything. And I love the way that looked. And I just want to do a, a little bit more modifying to this sign so it doesn't look like everybody else's. So I'm taking in that Waverly chalk paint in Scallion. And I am accenting or distressing the sign. <laughs> um, a little bit different on each of the the different sayings or words. And I'm so sorry I'm out of frame here. Um, yeah, I'm still learning when I'm at the table what I where I can be and where I need to be. So next I am going to be coming in with some gold paint. So I've gotten out my little paint holder from Dollar Tree. I'm using the same paintbrush and I'm going to go over the one that says pot of gold and it actually there's glitter in this gold and like I said I love glitter so there you go. Um, now I wanted to do something a little different so I've taken off the hanger and I am going to add a hanger made from this hanging basket. So I have, I'm taking off one of the long strands of wire and then from a second basket, I'm gonna grab the hook. And that way I have two hooks for this and I'm gonna put the two hooks, one through each of the holes, clamp it down with my pliers and there you go. I've added a chain to my sign now I'm going to make a bow out of the twine and I brought out all the twines to figure out which one I wanted to use. So you saw some twine from Target, twine from Dollar Tree, and the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I decided on Dollar Tree's twine and I'm just making a bow. I've, I've wrapped it around my hand, tie it in a bow, and I'm going to tie it onto the, the chain. And here it is, all ready to tell us all about St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. 
So for projects number 11 and number 12, we're going to be using these napkins and we are going to be taking the ply off of them. And this one, it took, first one was easy to get off. The second one I had to use the tape, but um, we're going to go ahead and put that down. We're going to grab some cling wrap, put that down, and we are going to adhere our napkin to the paper with the um, to, with cling wrap and an iron and so I'm just ironing it on and I am going to be making my own shamrock paper out of a napkin and this is a great way to get matching holiday or party decorations using the napkins you're using for your party or holiday. So since I'm reusing the picture frames that I already had on the wall, and there I'm showing you the Valentine decoration that I had, that was made out of a binder from Dollar Tree for Valentine's. So I'm just taking out the backing of that and going to use it as a template to make my backing for my St. Patrick's Day picture frame. So I'm going to be using one of these glasses that say Irish. Yes, a pair of glasses. I had gotten them from Dollar Tree and from Target at different times. I did have to cut down the both sides of the Irish to fit it into my picture frame. I found that these little snipper scissors worked really, really well for that. I'm going to go ahead and put my homemade paper in the back for the background these picture frames were also from dollar tree and i love that they have the gold stars so i left those in there and i absolutely love the way this turned out what do you think and we're getting closer this is number 12. i'm going to be using that little saint patrick's day garland hanging decoration. I'm going to use one of the little shamrocks. I chose the one that was the black and then I'm using some of the foam shamrocks to pop it up off of the homemade paper. I'm going to glue it onto the homemade paper and put it into the frame. And there you have it. Another fun example of using something that I already have. I love it. And you made it. If you're still here, put Lucky 13 in the comments. We are going to be using this yarn that I picked up at Joann's. And I picked this up in all the color combinations. And so one of them I got was, I call it Grinch Green. I'm gonna cut off 13 of the little balls. And I am gonna be using these foam shamrocks that I picked up at Dollar General. I'm also gonna be using the little golden charms. And so for the first one in the middle, I have attached the charm to the back of the yarn and then the shamrock to the front and now I'm putting the little charm on the front because I thought it needed it needed more and I really like the way that looks so from now on I'm going to be putting the shamrock behind the yarn and the charm on the front saving some time <laughs> I'm alternating the dark shamrocks and the light shamrocks, and I'm making a garland. I used five of the dark green and four of the light green shamrocks for a total of nine.
And here it is across the second shelf of my Irish coffee bar or cocoa bar. And I absolutely love it. I loved it so much. I made a second one to hang in the living room. And there you have it. 13 St. Patrick's Day ideas. No Blarney here. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I have more videos. And I have several coming up really soon. Thank you so much for being here. We'll have a place to meet a community very, very soon. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.